Brisbane. Still. I was. I was born in Templeton. I do. I have three brothers and a sister. Ah, uh, no. My sister played netball, I think. Yeah. And then my, all three of my brothers play AFL at like pretty good levels too. like 11 or 12. We started at school initially, playing at school time, like during lunchtime and stuff. And then I started a club when I was, yeah, 11, I think, with my best friend. Yeah, I tried everything. I played touch, played, played netball as well. And yeah, I sort of did everything. I loved school. It's embarrassing, but I loved school. So I was always the one sitting up the front. <laughs> I loved it, yeah. I like to go surfing. That's like my all-time favorite thing. Um, hanging with my family. I don't really have all that much downtime, so... Yeah. I go to QT. I'm studying PE teaching, or PE in math secondary teaching, and I work at a swim school, which is cool. So I teach little kids how to swim. It's fun. Uh, because in Queensland there's it's very tough competition, and last year I was just coming back from an injury. Um, I had popliteal artery entrapment syndrome, which will mean nothing to most of you, but um, my calves were just basically cutting off my circulation to my legs and so I was just coming back from injury and um, my coach yeah, thought it would be, like, I wasn't going to get a starting position in the raw and so he said you should go you know look up elsewhere kind of thing because it just for me to get back into it kind of thing and Melbourne liked, Matt liked how I played and he asked me along and I don't really want to leave, I love it here. <laughs> I don't really handle it. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. It's good with the other girls because there's five of us. Um, it's not it's not like really boring or anything. There's always someone there with you at the planes and stuff. Um, it's a bit tiring. It's a bit tiring. Absolutely. I, I, that's why we try to come in as early as possible when we have home games to get sessions in with the girls. Not, I don't think, uh, me personally, it's, it, especially in the back line because it, so much of it is communi communication and getting to know each other. You kind of, you, you need to train with each other. So it's hard, but you know, I have a life back at, in Brisbane and it's, I can't just sort of pick up and leave. So I'm trying to juggle both things. But I think, like I love playing alongside Micah and we work really well together. So we sort it out. <laughs> um, no offense, but I love Brisbane weather. <laughs> And I'm only 19. I don't think I could cope living out of home. My mum does everything for me. <laughs> goals. Short-term goals. Um, obviously play really well this season. And then hopefully Tommy likes what he sees. And we got uh, World Cup qualifiers in May. And I, my coach says I have a good chance at it. So I've got to work really hard and hopefully get to that playing that in May, if not as World Cup the following year and Olympics and so there's a lot of stuff coming up for us, which is cool. But uh, yeah, that's really it. Yeah, I think we have yeah, we have a lot stronger team. So that's why it's exciting. It was disappointing last year we had we were so close to get into finals but we just missed out. And I think this year everyone's coming out firing and I reckon we'll make it for sure. We've got it. We're going to make the grand final and then we're going to win. We're going to smash them. We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't really know what Melbourne clubs are like. I, I think you, supporter wise, I, I'm really impressed with the amount of people that get along to watch us as Melbourne Victory women. But 
Yeah, I don't know about like uh, the youngsters. I don't know how many that interested. Queensland, it's quite big. For if you're in the soccer crowd, like there's a lot of you. But in terms of supporters, uh, I don't think it's as big as in Melbourne, which is cool because we get lots of people coming to our games and stuff. Um, big and strong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love it so much, so it's kind of, I do it for the love of the game. I think it would be nice to have a little bit more recognition, not so much for um, us, but, you know, for future, so that a lot more girls get into it, because it's such a brilliant game, and, like, yes, yeah, a lot of opportunities. You just, if there's not enough, uh, so if it's not in the front of your mind, you know, not many people are going to pick it up. So I think for the future of women's soccer, it would be a lot better if we had more advertising. It'd be good to get more goals somehow if they could figure out a way where people could score more. Maybe have extra posts or something. <laughs> kind of like gaily, but yeah. I, don't know. I think a lot of people, uh, crowds lose interest because there's not as many goals. But then at the same time, if you do get a goal, it's like the most exciting thing ever because it doesn't happen very often. So, ah, it works either. <laughs> Hopefully I will have played in the Olympics by then, the London Olympics. Um, I should be a school teacher by then, <laughs> if my grades go really well. Um, I honestly don't really know. I'll be playing soccer somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs>